because that's what you do. But um, yeah, so you know, the Colt with the rider, he's got the bike out, the bike's up, and that's a wrap. Now, me, I'm gonna ride probably till about when it gets to free. It's, it's 48 right now, and I'm all dressed up. I'm literally sweating. I'm sweating in the gear that I have on. You know, it's like I just can't go that long on a weekly basis of not riding a motorcycle because riding a motorcycle is more to me than you know getting a 70 degree wind in your in your chest and in your hair and riding around it's it's like my therapy man I get out and just clear your mind you know and get your mind right and uh, it's just it's just something about man just be nobody on the street you know like there'll be nobody on the roads at all nobody on the back roads nobody on the roads and I'll always have one car following me <laughs> I know it's just it's just the way it is so but anyway the fair weather rider you know I just I mean if you're that guy that puts it up hey that's okay I mean it's more hey more power to you if you if you don't want to ride in the winter time or it's just too cold or it's too uncomfortable then hey i feel your pain man but i have a buddy and you know he only rides when it's literally like perfect outside when it's like you know it's it, it, it's 70 to to 75 then he he's usually riding right um if it gets below 70 it's too cold and if it gets below seven, above 75, then it's too hot. So he only rides, you know, certain times of the year. And that's how he rides. That, that's his prerogative. I just, the motorcycle riding to me is just more than, you know, it's more than, than just getting on a bike, man. It's just, just pulling that throttle and, Oh, man, there's just nothing like it. I don't know if you, uh, some of you don't even have a motorcycle. And that's fine, but there's something that happens when you're on a bike. Like right now, you just, you know, I'm just riding back here in the roads. and It's chilly, you know, and the bike's just sucking up. Sucking up the air. And just nothing, to, nothing like it. So there's three priests, right? Three priests trying to get into heaven. All right, so I'll tell you a little joke of the day, right? So there's three priests trying to, three priests that are trying to get into heaven. So the first priests are up in heaven and they're sitting on the bench. Each priest has their wife and they're sitting on the bench. And the first priest gets up and goes up to the gates and Peter's standing at the gate. Peter says, you know, I'm not going to be able to let you in. Um, it's like, yeah, I know I'm not going to be able to let you in. And the preacher said, I don't understand how I can't get in. You know, I've been, I've been preaching the word of God for 10 years and I've done nothing but devote myself for, to Jesus. How can I not get in? He said, well, you love mo money more than you love Jesus. You love money so much that you married a girl named Penny. And because of that, you're not going to be able to get in. So the preacher bowed his head and went over to the bench and grabbed his wife and they left the second preacher stood up went up to the gate Peter said I'm sorry but you're not going to be able to get in and the preacher said well, how am I not going to be able to get in I've been preaching the word of God for 25 years and all I've done is devote myself to the to Jesus for 25 years how can I not get in he goes well you love wine more than you love Love, love Jesus. You love the wine so much. You, you married a girl named Sherry. So, because of that, you know we're not going to be able to let you in. So he, he bowed his head and went back, picked his wife off, wife up, wife up off the bench, and they left. And the third preacher was sitting on the bench, and he didn't get up. And he looked over at his wife, and he said, "Come on, Fanny, let's go."
<laughs> oh man. Come on, Fanny, let's go.